Hello Libra and welcome to your April 2022 Committed Love Reading. Libra, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rudy. Welcome to Force for the Trees. I appreciate y'all being here. If you are returning, thank you so much for your trust and support, your likes, shares, and subscribes, all your energies. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate all of your comments. I've really enjoyed reading all your comments and um, seeing how this resonates with some of you. And it's just, it means so much to me to know that there's somebody on the other end of this camera, you know, that there's somebody out there listening, that there's somebody out there that, that hears me <laughs> in a sense, you know. So thank you all so very much. All right, Libra, let us get started and see what we have going on. I'm going to do over all energy here and then I'm going to do your side and your partner if you have more than one partner you will have to discern which partner this is okay all right committed April 2020 this is committed love reading April 2022 for Libra here we go whoa five of action hmm five of wands energy Ace of action. Ooh, passion. We have a lot of passion going on. And we have the guardian of action. Look at that. You have all the wands. Libra. That is your um, Aries Leo Sagittarius, your fire energy, your growth, your creativity, your uh, stamina. Um, five of action talks to me about... Uh, it can talk about a little bit of confusion. It can talk about having fun, but things can get out of hand in a, in a sense. Um, I'm also seeing this card sometimes, especially in coupled relationships, as where you have, um, you know, where your partner is, or you are, uh, it could be either or, um, fight and make up, fight and make up, fight and make up, that kind of tumultuousness. Um, since it came out right in the middle, this says your angels want you, you to know that your current challenge pushes you to be assertive and self-confident. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama in your life. Um, so this card pretty much shows bullies. It doesn't show a fairness. It shows, you know, they're throwing snowballs at these people that aren't playing the game. You know, obviously they're playing the game. Um, so it's, it's, it can feel like it's feeling like you're ganged up upon, or it can feel like you're blindsided or you are, um, you know, there could be some confusion or some chaos or some, some, um, something going on in the relationship that is not, um, balanced. We have the ace of action. This is a new beginning, a new start. Um, so this tells me that maybe what, what is going on, maybe you're done, maybe you're, you're not putting up with this anymore. Maybe you're going to, um, maybe you're going to address this a different way. Maybe you're going to, uh, come about this a different way. This is a cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity, your career, or pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action. And if you procrastinate, it's, and if you've been procrastinating, it's a time to really get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business. Have confidence in your abilities. Um, and I just see this, again, according to the relationship reading. It could be where if there's something you've been wanting to do or something you've been wanting to do and your partner's holding you back, maybe that's where this is coming in and maybe you're like, this is it. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm moving forward. I'm taking care of it. Of guardian of action. This could be your partner, Aries Leo Sagittarius. It could be an aspect of yourself. It is a king of wands. It's time for you to step up and be the leader. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is the moment in the sun, so move into the light and shine for all to see. This card is also about a person who has charisma, is inspiring, and enjoys a challenge and loves the spotlight. Um, aside from loving the spotlight, I don't know too many Libras that do, but you might be one that does. But this is, again, the, the Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, and I do know a lot of those that do like, like the spotlight. So you could have that aspect in your chart. That could be your partner. Your partner could be the one that loves the spotlight or loves to um, um, keep things moving, keep things, you know, uh, not settled maybe is the right word but we'll see we'll go into the reading and see what we have all right this is for 
Oh, goodness. This is for Libra. This is a uh, committed love ring. Five is a number of change. So sometimes it's forced change. Sometimes it's forced growth. Um, sometimes it, it has a change to adapt. Eight of Swords. Mm, Libra. It's your card. Look at the eights. Eights. Power. Taking back your power. Again, I see that with the Ace of Wands. And you're saying enough. That's it. I'm done. Not doing this anymore. Um, that could be you stepping up into that position of leadership. That could be you stepping up into that position of um, um, emperor. I love it. Aries energy, but it's like leadership. It's like, again, the king of wands energy. Um, stepping up into that, into, into your power, knowing what you have to do in order to make this work for you. Four of wands. Okay. This is your partner side over here. Whoa. Way too many cards. Sorry. Um, another eight, eight of pentacles. And the sun. Bottom of the deck for both of you, you have the star. So this just tells me that whatever you have going on now, you know, it could be something you've thought about or wished about or wanted. Um, and, you know, dreams come true. So kind of careful what you wish for. Um, it's also creating, you know, putting out to the universe what you want to create, putting out to the universe what you want. It's the bottom of the deck. So this is your subconscious energy. So you could be like in this relationship going, wow, I really wish that or I really wish this. Um, that could be the energy that you, you're you sending out there. But one thing with the star card is you have to, uh, to me, it kind of get really clear about what you want and what you don't want. Because if you keep being wishy-washy on things, then you're sending mixed messages to the universe and they don't know what you want. They don't know what you want. So um, as clear as you can be to what you want to manifest for your future is the best course of action. The star is a beautiful, beautiful card. I'll pull it up here again. It's a card of Aquarius. All right. So we have the Eight of Swords. Now you have eight. Again, eight is a number of power. It's a number of abundance, um, evolving, having control, releasing, right? There's a lot going on with an eight. It's also, to me, balance because you have four and four. Uh, four is a number of balance, instability, security, and you have two of them. So it's almost like you have double security, double balanced. The Eight of Swords is a card about not, um, about feeling stuck, about feeling trapped, about feeling like you have nowhere to move or, or you don't have a say in something or you, you can't, um, you can't move in the direction you want to move. You can't talk or you can't speak or, 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 or you're afraid of repercussions. You're afraid of, of what might happen. Um, swords are your thoughts, your communications, your actions, and you feel stuck. You feel like you're not able to do or move or uh, go in the direction that you're wanting to go in. And then you have the eight of wands. So it's like something is going to happen. And I think it's this, it's you gaining your power. It's you gaining your strength with the emperor card. It's you standing up for yourself. It's you seeing that you're trapped, you're holding your own self back. Um, your partner could have something to do with it, but this could be really you holding yourself back for fear. You could be holding yourself back for the unknown. You could be holding yourself back because, um, you know, maybe you're afraid of a longer term commitment. Um, again, if there's chaos and conflict going on, or if there's some type of bullying going on, and, you know, you can stand up for yourself and you are standing up for yourself with the Emperor card. And you can either, um, you know, enough is enough. You can change it. They can change it and you can move on. Um, but you're taking back control of your life. I feel you're taking back control of your life. Uh, and it's fast moving. I think once you make your mind up to get out of this uh, self-imposed um, place of stagnation, 
the energy is going to be very swift. It's going to be very fast. And this could be something that you want to start. You might want to start your own business. You might want to create. You might want to, um, you, you know, go back to work if you're not working right now. But it's taking control back of your life, being the emperor, stepping up to that plate, um, bossing up, being, you know, showing your partner that you can do this. You have potential to do whatever it is you want to do and really um, taking that control over your life. Uh, I'm not saying your, your relationship, but your life. You're taking control of your life. You might, for the first time, see this as this is me and this is them. We're not. We're together, but we're not together all the time. There could be some codependency um, issues that maybe have had to be worked out too with this relationship. I almost feel what what is going on or what went on in the relationship is not really what was presented when you started the relationship. It might have always been tumultuous. Maybe you thought it would change. But now it's, I just feel like you're taking matters into your own hands. You're finally getting away from that uh, feeling of being trapped or being stagnant or being kept and you're moving forward. You're, you're like putting all your energy in one basket and sending it forward and bossing up, stepping up, knowing you can control the situation. You might, I mean, you can't control your partner. Nobody can control another person. You can control yourself and knowing you have that control over yourself. And it's going to give you also that beautiful energy of your dreams and your imagination and what you can do and moving forward on that. All right, your partner has the Four of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Sun. Um, now, the Sun is a new beginning card. It's, a, it's also a card of being very much um, warm and giving and, and open. Um, Four of Wands is a card of stability and structure. Wow. Okay. I'm feeling two different things. I feel like, uh, you might feel trapped or you might feel stuck because maybe they provide the stable. They, maybe they provide the house and they provide the income. Maybe they're stable in their money and you might feel like you're trapped in that or you can't get out of it. Um, But I'm also feeling that, you know, they have very positive cards here. And I, I'm also feeling that they are happy to provide a house. They're happy to, to work hard for the money. And, you know, they're also happy to change. They're happy to start something new. They're happy to open up to a new way, a new beginning, a new something with the sun card. Uh, dawn of a new day, right? They could also be the one that likes, likes, especially since it's under the emperor, they could be the one that likes to, for, you know, the light, the spotlight to shine upon them. Maybe whatever it is that you're presenting, maybe it's going to take their spotlight away a little bit. Maybe they're afraid of losing their stability. Maybe they're, they're afraid of losing their money. Because the eight of pentacles is something that they... Um, it's repetitive. Whatever it is they do or they're doing, and it could be um, it could be whatever it is that's causing your your um, feeling of helplessness and being trapped. They do continuously. It's like they can do it over and over and over again. Um, I'm all, almost feeling like if it's a threat, if they threaten or, you know, they're going to, you know, maybe they give you an allowance or going to take your money away or they're going to, you know, throw you in the street or something like that. I can kind of feel, wow, I kind of feel both ways about this. I can see them as being very vindictive and very much threatening. And then they present this, this happy face to the world. I can see that very much here. It's like, I have the house, I have the money, what are you going to do without it? But you you are behind the scenes working on yourself. You're behind the scenes working and getting your, um, your strength up to start new with the Ace of Wands and to, you know, step up to the plate of the Emperor, of being in control. Not letting them control you anymore. Quick moving energy. 
And I can also see them on this as I provide the house and you, you live comfortably, you know, let's talk this over. Let's start new. I can see that, but I'm almost feeling that, oh, energy with this person, Libra. I hate to say that, but I am. Uh, the sun is a card of Leo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy with the pentacles. Um, just with that repetitiveness. It's like they keep doing the same thing over and over uh, or threatening the same thing over and over is almost what I'm feeling. And they could be threatening the house or the your stability or threatening to leave. But I feel like there's this new start, new beginning. I think you can you can um, step up, be the emperor, be the uh, the leader. Show this person that you, you you there's more to you than meets the eyes. What I feel. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. You'll have to let me know. It's very interesting. I just feel that this card, this star card, is your. You know, it's like you wish, again, I, I feel like however you all got in the relationship wasn't the way it played out, wasn't what they said, wasn't what they promised, wasn't, wasn't the direction it was going in, or um, it didn't play out in the direction they said it would go in. I think things changed once they got you, so to speak, but you're, you're taking, again, control of yourself. Alright. What you all need to work on. This is your challenges together. And this is the Five of Cups. So this is letting go of what's not serving you anymore. Now you can either let go of. You could have it, you know, a discussion between the two of you. To know um, what you have to let go of. What you have to grieve. It could be the relationship itself. Knowing that you have support, you have love around you, doesn't necessarily have to be this person, but you have support around you. You have those that will take care of you and help support you, and so do they. Um, but it is, it's coming clean. It's really seeing things for what it is. It's not uh, staying in the negative for too long. You have to move out into the positive. You have to get out of this space of feeling trapped and feeling stuck. And your partner could be telling you it's all in your head or it's all, it's all you. So making that decision together, making that decision to uh, basically cut your losses and move forward if you have to, um, you know, grieve what you have to grieve and move on. Don't be stagnant and stuck in that process of um, what should have been or what could have been or, or what maybe you all promised each other five is the number of change it's also um you know this energy of uh making something official too all right and your action you all need to take oh, two let's see this is for libra committed please action you need to take is the Knight of Pentacles. Um, could have to do with money. It could have to do with um, possibly making money or bringing money in or dividing money. The Knight is moving forward. There could be something uh, job related with this. It could be your house, your structure. Um, again, taking action. Uh, maybe getting monetary values out of something. Moving forward with something. Moving forward with the actions you want to take. Um, that is stability. Your structure. It could be, you know, if there's a separation here, if you all are taking a break, it could be um, a card about figuring out, you know, who lives where or 
um, again, where the, the housing, it, it's figuring out the living, the housing. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it's that it's that movement of the monies, movement of the money. So moving money, uh, waiting for money to come in, waiting for uh, maybe a payout, maybe waiting for somebody's four hundred one k, maybe waiting for something to sell to divide. If that's the route you all are going. It could even be if you're going to counseling, you know, putting money toward a counselor, maybe saving money up for a counselor or, or counseling session, something like that also. And I also feel it's, it's taking control of the finances, taking control of your money, um, kind of going into... Um, you know, where you go with the bank and you sit down and you say, what are my assets? What do I have? What's this? What's that? Or what do I have? What do we have together? Kind of energy too. All right. Oop. All right. All right, we have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And I'm a firm believer that, you know, um, I mean, you could possibly, there could be somebody else that you, you are involved with. Um, but I, again, I, I think it harkens back to what I've said in the beginning, where is when you started this, you felt this connection or they promised you things or they said things until they got you and then things changed and that could be that residual energy of this could be the one like oh wow you know and then things weren't what they you thought they were going to be energy and there could be somebody that you did meet you know there could be somebody that you did meet all right Yeah, see? Wow. These cards, I swear. This is regret. And we have codependency. That's the two things I said, I believe. Um, it could have been a codependent relationship. This could be where you're you've really um, coming out of this energy of feeling stuck, of feeling trapped, of feeling like you can't move without this person. And you have regrets on this relationship. And what I have to tell you, dear, dear, dear Libra, is never regret a relationship. Never regret where you have knowledge. Was it easy? Is it hard? Yes, on both. It, I mean, was it easy? No. Was it hard? Yes. Did you come out with knowledge? Yes. Never regret. Um, you come out wiser, smarter. You've come out with this knowledge. Um, you know red flags, you know what to look for, you know what you want, what you don't want, you know how people can be. You know that people, you know, that not everyone can be trusted. Not everyone appears to be what they are, right? So we have knowledge. When we know better, we do better. So don't don't beat yourself up over something that you have possibly learned from. And this is the path you were led on. And this is the direction you needed to go to learn these lessons. All right, one more card. Karmic relationship. Feel fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving yourself. There you go. What more can I say? What more can I say? It sums up this reading beautifully. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Loving yourself. Love yourself. Don't have regrets. Don't hold yourself accountable. Don't hold yourself, um, you know, don't let yourself carry the burden of all this. Look up codependency. Do a lot of research. Look at the psychology. Look at all of that. 
See where that fits in, into your life. See why you might be more um, prone to that type of relationship. Um, I'm, a, I'm an empathic person. You're probably an empath empathic person. Narcissistic energy is drawn to me because I have that, you know, anyway, we're drawn to, you know, I'm drawn to them and they're drawn to me. So I really have to watch relationships. I know that now having gone through one. So that's what I'm saying. Learn from it, grow from it and know that you don't have to repeat it. Just move forward, right? Just move forward. All right, Libra, if you like this reading, I do weekly readings. I post on Saturdays for the week ahead. I do it every Saturday. You can subscribe and um, hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those. They are, again, weekly general readings. Uh, they're like 10 minutes, so that kind of gives you a glimpse into the week ahead. Um, I'd love to know how this resonates with you. Um, take care of yourselves, guys. Take care of each other. Love yourself. Love yourself. I love the Ace of Wands energy. I love the Emperor energy on your side. I love that uh, you're getting up, you're dusting yourself off, and you're moving forward. And I love that energy. And you're doing it quickly. Take care. Have a blessed month. And Libra, I will see you in May. Bye for now.